ever show up to your hookup's wedding? He had the audacity to invite me, so of course I'm going. I'm Gabby Oberlin. After adding two zannies to my pumpkin spice latte this morning, I decided I'm going to put an end to this wedding once and for all. There's no such thing as a spell for stopping a wedding from happening, unfortunately. But there's ways to work around it. Ew, I hate weddings. They always smell like old lady perfume and mothballs. I hate weddings. Imagine screwing the same person for the rest of your life. Old lady hairstyles are so funny. But that one hair shape looks like the president George Washington, was it? Oh my god. Is that why we joined this country club? Does this mean we're getting old? It's actually really funny, these women getting married thinking it's celebratory when it's rather the opposite. Their husband's free will is gone and they're committing contractually. Then they leave them for hot women like us. And then it just becomes this huge web of lies and legalities. Well, I never heard someone make a wedding sound worse than a funeral before, but you did that. Well, I'm only here for a one night stand. So, thanks for inviting me, Gab, but seriously, help me look. <laughs> One Abby? Oh. Am I missing something? Why are the bridesmaids all boys? Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm Ethel. Hi. All right. I'll maybe see it. I think she's wearing granny panties on her wedding day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father, you have made the bond of marriage a holy mystery, a symbol of Christ's love for his church. Hear our prayers for Vivian and Darren. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> with one God forever and ever. Amen. Darren and Vivian, I shall now ask if you freely undertake the obligations of marriage. Darren, repeat that for me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Uh, Do you want me to speed this up? Can you? It's taking a bit slow. Okay. I, Darren Lewis Lawrence. I, Darren Lewis Lawrence. Take Vivian Renee Westwood. Take, take, take. Come on, it's not a hard thing to say after eight years. Take Vivian Renee Westwood as my lawful whatever it is. Vivian. Repeat after me. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not of any lawful impediment. It's Sunday. It's 9 a.m. and we've got somewhere to go at 11. It's become a weekly thing since becoming members of the Happy Hallows Country Club. 
I'll see you tomorrow, love. Good, Good morning, morning, Gabby. Good morning, sluts. Good morning, Gabby. Hi, I'm Gabby Oberlin, and this is my squad, the Regals. It's easy to fool small towns, high class society into thinking you're a class act during weekly brunch, right? Okay, bitches, show me what you got. This is Nash. She's pretty fucking stupid. That is a winter coat, moron. But aren't we going to brunch? Nash is literally holding up a winter coat. Hey, Gabby. I was thinking this with your tweed mini. Huge bust statement. This is chastity. Slut is too soft of a word to describe someone who has the morals of a man. With what bus though? Maybe after the fat transfer. Next! Gabby, let's crimp your hair. This is Calaire, Allie's replacement. No, Calaire. There's a reason I don't try to look like you. And that's Allie. Exactly what I was looking for. You're the best, Allie. Glad to have you back. This is our driver. His name is Shockey. We hired him about a year ago since, you know, we can no longer trust Uber drivers. And while most of Hollowbrook attends the local chapel for mass, us regals spend our Sunday mornings in white gloves and pearls, spilling mimosas and secrets. OMG, he's still texting me. Well, I'm so upset because he's still not texting me back. Hard to get, Claire. It's the game every guy wants to play. You gotta stop throwing yourself at him. God, you guys are so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was the dumb one. You are the dumb one. I still love you, though. Both Allie and Calaire conveniently hooked up with the bridesmen last night. Five is a powerful number with magic anyways. The hoodoo number five stands for luck, power, and protection. The Pentagon has five points, and now, so does my coven. Still trying to figure out when we're going to tell Allie we're a coven now. We have it all. Money, mansion, magic, and youth. What could go wrong? Don't act affected. I think they're talking about what happened with Vivian yesterday. No shit, Chast. Guys, I have to get this off my chest. It really looked like she was possessed last night. Yeah, she looked like the boogeyman. <laughs> Gabby, did you do that to her? Who, me? No, of course not. Huh? How? Um, waiter? <laughs> There's cream in this coffee. Hi, ma'am. That's milk. Yeah, well, milk, coffee, sour cream, cream, same fucking thing, it's made up of fucking fat. Can you please bring me a black coffee? Ew, you like your coffee black? Why? <sighs> Come on, Claire, you know, I love bitter taste, I love vodka, black coffee, come. Oh, hey, Claire. Sorry I didn't get back to your message this morning. I've been a bit occupied with serving the beneficiaries, to say the least. Talk to you later. <laughs> Isn't that one of the bridesmaids, Claire? Mm -hmm. Our server's ex-boyfriend number two. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. <laughs> Both Allie and Claire fucked the fucking bridesmaids last night. <laughs> men, Gabby, they are brides. Men. Yeah. They're Vivian's ex-boyfriends. Yeah, apparently she wanted them to firsthand watch her get married, like as some sort of punishment or something. Okay, but that's kind of badass. That's super savage. That's something you would do. Yeah, except I would never have the displeasure of getting married, and I would not have that many failed relationships. How are you and Alistair? Would you consider marriage? Yeah. Uh, nah. I mean, I want him to be with me because he wants to be with me. He's still rich, he's still hot. We're good, he's golfing. Um, ex-boyfriend number two said Gabby reminds him of Vivian so much. You must really want to get kicked out of the squad. Never insult me like that again. Yeah, doesn't he have a name? He introduced himself to me as ex-boyfriend number two. Yeah, same with ex-boyfriend number one. Apparently Vivian paid them off to change their names. I mean, she's married to the richest guy in town. She's probably getting bored with what to do with all that money. Is she even married? Did she finish getting married yesterday? I personally wouldn't have called yesterday a wedding. I would have called that hell. You know? So scary. Like coffee for a classy soul? Thanks. 
Good afternoon and happy Hallows Country Club. I hope you guys are enjoying the quiche and assorted pastries. The smoked salmon is a complimentary treat from me as a sign of gratitude for your support. To those who attended the wedding yesterday, thank you for attending. It is with great remorse that I apologize for my illness episode yesterday. It was the first of what may be a lifetime diagnosis of fainting spells. Spells. <laughs> yeah, but can you explain the chocolate in your mouth? Excuse me? Oh shit, that was loud. I'm sorry, are you making fun of my illness? Uh, you look like you took a bite of your own poo. <laughs> and you smell like it too. God, why are you so bothered? Why are you so bothered? I don't remember inviting you to my wedding. Why were you there? That's my friend Gabby. I invited her. Right, I remember her trying to steal from the Christmas ball. Oh. There. Oh god. Ew. Babe, did you shake your pants? Of course not. Honey, what's that smell? I think you should have to go to the bathroom. Um, sorry for that, guys. Alright, I'm gonna text Shaki. Darren, can you tell the coat check we're 5 to 12? Yeah, I'll tell the waiter. All right, guys, let's go. Oh, Santa Maria. <laughs> All right, Allie, I'm going to have to brief you later, but guys, I think I'm the one doing these things to Vivian. What's so funny? Well, I'm laughing because no shit, Gabby, we've known. Yeah, we both knew. I mean, you've had the hats for Aaron. Well, there's a lot I haven't told you guys, and when you see a guy naked, you can't go back, and especially if he was like there. Not to be the bearer of bad news, because like, yay, cheating. But, um, does Alistair know? No. And you bitches aren't gonna say anything. I think I'm the one that possessed Vivian on her wedding day yesterday. And I think I'm also the one that just made her smell like shit out there. Yeah, speaking of shit, why does it smell like shit in here too? We're in a bathroom now. Shh. But yeah, I checked and Vivian is definitely downstairs in the bathroom. So I think we should call Professor Dead Salt because this doesn't sound normal and um, it sounds like you're intentionally trying to harm her. You know Rule 19 Paragraph 8 in the Book of Shadows states that no retaliation after retransfabrication. In other words, a witch who uses her powers for anything but self-defense must admit or be defeated. So what does this mean? I don't know. We're going to have to admit. You are jealous, and a jealous witch is a dangerous witch. You see, ladies, her powers have become so unattainably strong, and Gabby, you are the ruby of your coven. That makes it very difficult for you to hide who you are, and for the very reason that you would utilize your powers for anything other than self-defense means that you must admit to this publicly or lose your powers forever. There are rules in the book for a reason, Gabby. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna admit that I'm a witch publicly. I'll be hung. This may well become your crucible very quickly, unless we go about this the right way. Professor Dissolve! Yes, Chess. Hi! Okay, so we did a crucible roleplay, and things got, like, really violent. <laughs> Yeah, I played a John Proctologist. Mm. Mm, I'm not playing. God, I'm so confused. As witches, Chastity Nash, I would avoid that narrative if I was you. Thank you. You don't want to substantiate these types of things. Gabby, you don't have to outright admit to being a witch. You could do it uh, metaphorically. What do you mean? A metaphoric confession could be as simple as initiating a fight with Vivian and screaming publicly, uh, I am a witch, as if you're saying I am a bitch. I doubt that anyone would take the term literally. I barely can. Trust me, they won't. Uh, I refuse to be in the same room as Vivian ever since earlier, since I made her smell like shit permanently. Yeah, she smelled like stomach virus. I don't think I've ever smelled something so bad in my entire life. You made her smell? Gabby made her smell like a rotten dead fish. Good lord, Gabby! You cast in a putrid cutis? A flesh-rotting spell? We must proceed with the confession immediately before her skin begins to wither away. Why don't you make her a soap or perfume? You could say that it is a belated wedding gift. Uh, how on earth do I give Vivian a perfume without it seeming rude and too direct? She'll think it's an insult. Why not refer to yourself as the scent witch? As if you're bragging about your custom-made fragrances. Uh, you could make multiple and give them out as gifts at the country club. You're right. 
If it's too direct, it could be misconstrued as an insult and make matters worse. So, what do we name our perfume? Wait, guys. Okay, Claire. I think I got it. It's the red amulet, right? Yes. That's what you had at the wedding and the brunch. All right. Heading to you now. Thank you.